Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your performance in the uh, new Spellbreak game. So we will start with the parameter inside of the game and after that we will go in the config file. You have another uh, parameter that you can change uh, that will give you more FPS. So first of all, make sure that you're playing the game right now on full screen. The game is not well optimized and I saw that you lose a lot of FPS if you're playing window or borderless mode, so play full screen. I'm playing 1080p for sure after all the change, if you st still don't get your 60, uh, lower your resolution, you will have to do it. I'm limiting my FPS at 144 because I'm streaming with OBS and with the new OBS you can use some post-processing setting that use the CUDA core. So you don't want to push your GPU at max when you're playing a game because you need a little bit of power for the stream. Uh, 3D resolution, uh, I'm letting, it needs to match your resolution, you can test it if you want, but you will see that the image quality decreases a lot, and it's kind of like blurry slash pixelized, so um, yeah, don't touch it, it's pretty much last resort if you still don't get your 60. View distance, I'm playing at medium, this one is really important, 4 to 5 percent of FPS increase by bracket, but it's a battle royale you need to see, so play at medium or even far depending on your computer. Shadow, really important. When you remove shadow in this game, I'm just getting straight up 25 FPS. So just remove shadows. It's not really important in this kind of game. And it will give you a lot of FPS. Anti-aliasing, I'm playing at medium. Uh, you can remove it. That's a cool thing if you have like really an integrate card in a laptop, something like that. But you will see a lot of like object and line are breaking. It's pain in the ass because sometimes you think it's an enemy. So just play at medium and you should be fine. Texture, uh, you don't need a lot of VRAM to play this game, so if you have 4 gig and more, you can play Ultra, definitely. If you have 3 gig, go at high, 2 gig medium, and 2 gig and less, go with low. <coughs> Effect and post-processing, Th those two, honestly, it doesn't affect your game when you're just running in the map. It's more like when you're fighting that you will see... Um, the effect of it when you uh, lower it. The problem with the game for me, it's not like to get a lot of FPS, it's to get a stable FPS because when you fight, jump and you see like crazy fire and stuff like that, I'm losing a lot of FPS. So when you um, downgrade your effect and post-processing at medium, you will see that your FPS will be a lot more stable. So now we will go in the uh, config file because we have another option that we can change called foliage and it will give you another uh, nice boost. So let's go to the config file. So now in the config file, so you need to go in your C drive, users, uh, the name of your computer, app data, local, G3, save, config and windows no editor. Make sure that you see your hidden file in your windows to see the app data folder because you will not see it if you don't change your parameter. So after that, you need to open the game user setting. So this is pretty much all the setting that you're using right now in the game. The only one you need to change is the foliage quality here at 1. Put this one at 0. Save. You can close after that the file. Right click on it. Go to properties. And put the file in read only mode. Why are we doing that? It's because we want to block the file. For example, if you go into your game and you change your volume, your sound volume, uh, it will override your game user settings and because you don't have the foliage option in the game, it will probably reset your um, foliage at one because it was a default uh, option. So that's about it guys, if you have any questions just come in the YouTube section, uh, post me your CPU, GPU and RAM, if you speak French, I'm streaming on Twitch TV, so Twitch, Twitch TV slash Kefren TV if you want to see my stream, so that's about it guys, PEACE!